uh, Carl did mention that um, there's some uh, S106 money, um, but actually that proposal for the use of that is coming in the Deanhurst Park one, it's part of the Deanhurst Park uh, report, uh, which is on the agenda tonight, um, because there was a skate park routed, um, which couldn't be accommodated in the park. Um, but it can be accommodated on a site on Ings Lane, right opposite the new development, which is providing the S106 money. Um, and the proposal is that they pro pro the um, children's playground there be improved and the skate park added. And the amount of the S106 raised is just about the amount that's needed to do that job. So um, I would be opposed to trying to turn that small piece of land into, I don't know, for children to roam, to roam in. I don't think it's, it's nothing like as good as the, uh, the Woodlands project on Roach Valley. It's not, it's not the size of it at all. It's just very small. Um, so I'd be more uh, prone to uh, agree with Sally using that S106 um, for the skate park. So I wouldn't want to spend it on, on that land. So um, I think uh, also what I'd like to know is um, there's been two pieces of land, as you said, Chair, earlier on, that uh, we voted for disposal, but then uh, residents made a very strong case for the use, and the residents were prepared to maintain the land, uh, if you remember, and we sort of backed down on that, didn't we? You know, on, on Coldshaw Road in particular, um, and one in Bamford. I don't know if that's been back then, but the Coppershaw Road one certainly has. So obviously the, there was an input from residents after um, this committee had agreed to go to disposal, and then we actually changed, changed it because of those um, objections in a very, very strong case from um, the public that they would maintain everything there themselves. So, um, you know, perhaps they, they can raise objections after we agree. If we agree tonight, then they can uh, perhaps put in, if there, really, there are strong objections and people prepared to run the scheme, run the, you know, a scheme on that land, um, we might consider it, but then we've lost this money. So on balance, I would say that you know, I would favour the uh, disposal, an agreement to dispose tonight. Okay, is that the ball Yes. Yeah. Is it relevant to this land or, or the oh, other? Yes. What's it? Is it relevant to this piece of land? Yes. <coughs> and not the one in yeah. that first one? Make a comment. We have to be able to be done about <coughs> what could happen. Why don't we give us an example of the question? Yeah. No, she just made a proposal, really. Um, no, you said it's that proposal. She's saying it's to do with... Okay. It's easy, you've got to set them, doesn't it, Brenna? Uh, you're making a very good point there, as you know, Cecilia, and, and far be it from me, I will never interfere with what, what councillors decide in their own ward. However, if you don't tell the local residents and you have the fuss afterwards, it's always much worse. That's the only thing I would say, but it's totally, I will go with whatever decision you make. Thank you. Thank you. I think we've, we've had a proposal, so is there a second for that? But we want to provide that it doesn't go to auction without all some protection is put in to, to make sure that it's well disposed of. On recommendation. If they check, there is a treat preservation order on some land, can they at least bring it back to us? No. Um, yeah. Okay. We'll be on council. We're making very heavy weather this. Yeah. I mean, can you do that? Oh, yeah.
And it's alright people will be nitpicking uh, at every uh, at every land uh, every disposal that comes up. And it's mainly from uh, the members uh, sat, sat opposite there. Right. The fact of the matter is, uh, we have a financial crisis within this council um, that uh, your government has played the large part of. And uh, you're okay, you can shake your head, uh, councillor, but it's true. We are having to, we have lots of these sites all over the borough, and we are aggressively uh, disposing of them in order to raise income, in order to sustain uh, council services. That's what it's all about. And, uh, and most of these pieces of land are completely surplus land requirements. They are, they are, I was going to say badly maintained. They're not maintained at all because that, that's a, an additional cost to the council. They're usually eyesores and cause more, uh, uh, more problems for local residents than it would be in disposing of them. We also have a, a, an officer to tell you, there is a, there is a legal duty on, on, uh, on, on, on the officers to get the best possible price for that uh, uh, land on behalf of the local taxpayers. And that's why it has to go to auction in most cases uh, to ensure that we do get the best price in those circumstances. Yeah. We need to dispose of the, uh, all these uh, pieces of land in order to raise much needed uh, 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 resources and to help sustain uh, our essential uh, services. Let's get on with it. Okay, okay, right. Uh, do you want to think about the... Uh, just, just a minute. Right, we had a proposal, and, and then in between that we had something about um, including the result of checking on the TPO. And I, I don't agree with that, because the TPO would come under planning. This is where I think we're, 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 the, 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 everything gets blurred here. It was disposing of land, it's not a planning application. So let's stick to that, let's stick to the report. There, there was a, a recommendation which is in 2, 2, 1 and 2, 3. That was the proposal. Do we have a second? All those in favour of that? Okay, that is carried. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going on to the next piece of land, uh, which is agenda item 8.